Africa, the new and future frontier. But it is also the oldest inhabited continent in the world, the mother of all continents. It is home to some of the world's greatest treasures. It is the most culturally diverse continent in the world. Over 3,000 ethnic groups, 2,000 spoken languages. It is the second largest continent by landmass. It covers 11.7 million square miles of breathtaking landscapes, bounded by four seas and oceans. Nestles 65% of the world's arable land and is the source of 10% of the Earth's renewable fresh water. A journey from Africa's northern tip offers an adventure through the most beautiful natural destinations in the world. The tallest sand dunes in the world, the highest freestanding mountain in the world, safaris creeping with exotic wildlife, lush woodlands of the Congo Basin and pristine coastlines along its southern edge. Africa also holds the world's largest mineral reserves, 40% of the world's gold, and the largest reserves of cobalt, diamonds, platinum, and uranium on the planet. It is a land of legends, fantastic exploits, and unimaginable opportunities. So, why is a continent that is so blessed filled with so many contradictions? How is it? that the richest continent in terms of natural resources is also home to its poorest populations. How come Africans suffer incessant internal conflicts and high food insecurity when Africa possesses the world's largest piece of arable land and should be the food basket of nations? Why is the cradle of humanity now home to the most underdeveloped societies in the world Instead of having the most educated, civilized, and wealthiest nations, the mother continent is regarded instead as the dark continent. But it has not always been like this. Africa had some of the most advanced civilizations on record. It was home to some of the largest known earthworks in the ancient world. It had one of the greatest universities of its time an international center for learning and culture built by one of the richest rulers in world history. From Mali to Ghana to Southern Africa to Kanembonu Kingdom and many others, traditional African societies were distinguished for their commercial enterprise, a well-developed legal system and an aptitude for government. Whenever Africa was led by guardians who embodied the African spirit, our societies thrived and the continent was prosperous. Unfortunately, derailed by poor leadership, materialism, greed and ultimately foreign occupation, the continent that was once a shining example of how to build functional societies sadly became lost in translation. But there was a dramatic shift in the 1950s through the visionary and sacrificial leadership of a distinguished class of pro-Africanists. Many African states regained their independence, discipline and began another journey to self-actualization. Their sense of purpose and passion lit a fire which burned in the hearts of young men and women across the continent, putting on full display the dignity, honor and pride that is the essence of the African spirit. But unlike that golden generation, Africa has been unable to effectively galvanize a continent-wide response and roadmap for the future. This is happening at a time when the continent is experiencing an explosive population growth. Unable to cater to its young people, many young Africans fear they will never attain self-actualization if they remain on the continent. And this has forced millions to flee. What Africa needs now is a forceful reawakening that will propel her and indeed all Africans to move in a new purposeful direction. There is one organization in Africa that is fully committed 
achieving this reawakening. And that is the Baobab Club. Its vision is to create a strong, hopeful and enlightened mind within the African youth by reawakening the spirit of selflessness and pride in being African so that its young people who had lost hope in the continent are inspired and transformed into the agents that will build productive societies and a prosperous African economy. In the words of economist Schumacher, nature and culture are the two great garments of human life and nothing captures the duality of these garments like the great Baobab tree. Found throughout Sub-Saharan Africa, the mighty Baobab tree is enduring, resilient, sheltering, nurturing, a source of water for itself and all living creatures within reach in times of drought. Just as the knowledge of its longevity, healing and life-giving properties have been preserved and passed on from generation to generation across different African cultures and traditions, there is also a need to preserve, nurture and make the African spirit available to all generations. The Baobab Club is a guardian, an alliance and an access point for the values, knowledge and age-old wisdom which transformed previous African civilizations. Through our platform, we will unite, inspire, educate and empower Africans all over the world, rekindle hope and faith in the minds of young Africans and lead them toward positive change across the continent. The Baobab Club, joining hands together to transform Africa for the good of one, for the good of all.